Hi, I'm Dave from Buzzy. In this video, we'll look at using the Buzzy Figma plugin to generate an app from a Figma design file consisting of a couple of basic screens and some navigation. So let's dive in. Here's a simple Figma design file. Um, you'll notice it's two screens with some simple um, navigation that's already been defined as a Figma prototype. So a button to go from the first screen to the second and a back button. Okay, let's go and turn this into an actual app using the Buzzy plugin. So first things first, you'll notice the plugins, I've already got it open. You'll notice it's divided into three tabs, design, publish, data. Uh, we don't need to worry about data today. It's just design, publish we'll look at. Um, as you select items in your Figma layers palette here, you'll see they um, get pulled into the design palette here, into the design area of the plugin and I can assign behaviors to them. So in terms of this app, we've got two screens we need to mark up and some simple navigation. So let's select the first screen, start. It's of type screen, so we can assign behaviors here. Um, the type is home, it's our start screen. Uh, you can assign some optional other parameters if you like. And you'll notice as we do this, our, our little um, palette down here at the bottom of our design tab gets populated with the things we've marked up. So you can see the start screen's been def defined. Um, now we'll go to the main screen. It's also a type screen and it's basic. We've already defined a home screen, so this is just a normal screen. Uh, you'll see that's appearing down here too. Okay, so that takes care of our two screens. Now we need to define the actual navigation behaviors. So how do we jump from one screen to the next? Um, if we go down to our actions here, you'll see that the plugins already read that Figma has got some um, navigation actions defined. At the moment, we can't do anything with those. We know they're there, but we can't actually apply them automatically. So we'll have to go and set these. But this is a handy way of just seeing what actions have already got in your Figma file. So we can go to the button, there it is. Now we can read what the actions are in Figma, we'll just need to copy those. So I'll type action, it's a button that's got a navigation action, the type is navigate, and the screen we want to go to is main. Um, there you go, and you'll see that's now populated correctly. We'll jump to the back button on our main screen. And again, this is of type action. Um, it's a navigate action. And the screen we want to go to is start. And there it is. That's it for marking this up. So let's jump to the publish tab. Now you notice this um, publish tab tells us what page we're on in Figma. So this is um, critical to know that Plugin applies to the page you're currently on. So if I've got multiple pages in my Figma file, each of these could define a separate app as such. Um, so this, we're on the correct page here. The screen's a nav one. And we need to publish this. So let's give it a name and a timestamp. And let's convert. There it is. So we now have a preview URL the Buzzy's given us. The Buzzy URL, so this is a link to the app's backend, which is Buzzy, and a QR code, which we could scan and preview our app on a mobile device. Now let's just jump to the preview URL. I'll just resize this. And okay, there's our landing screen, start screen. There's our button. We click on the button. There's our second screen. And this is in a browser, this is a real live app. You'll notice the masthead stays fixed because again, that's how we defined it in our design. So as I scroll this content, the welcome and back button stay where they are. You can click back. And that is our generated app straight from Figma.
no coding required. Thanks for watching.